The drone mystery has people out on the eastern plains wondering what's flying over my home. There are still no solid answers, but there is a new tool that is helping investigators try to get to the bottom of it. It is a special play normally used by firefighters. Now the Colorado Department of Public Safety is putting it to you. Sean Chitness on the story live tonight. Sean, this plane is already helping rule out what some thought were drone sightings. Jim and Karen, that's right. While there is still a chance people might be seeing lights like this from a drone, these reports now do show that some of them are at least commercial airplanes far in the distance. Now, they are still investigating, but for now there is no report of any threat. Still, there was a close call yesterday with a drone, and that's why tonight they tell us there could be some future flights as well. Working in the air and on the ground, an operation Monday night tried to find out what's happening in the skies above northeast Colorado. While the Colorado Department of Public Safety and other agencies can now rule out some drone sightings, they still can't say for sure what might be in the air. It is odd that, that nobody yet has been able to detect who it or what it is. A multi-mission aircraft, or MMA, usually helps to fight fires. In this case, traveling 10,000 feet above the ground, it could fly well above drones. At the same time, another team worked to track what was happening on the ground. There could be somebody doing something that's perfectly legitimate and perfectly legal. Using a heat sensor, the radar didn't pick up any drones or anyone operating one. But just a day later, a drone had a close call with a medical helicopter. We don't want to see any kind of tragedy happen because of uh, this unknown activity. It's reason for them to consider more flights in the future. But for now, they don't see any danger or threat to the state. At this point, we have no information to suggest that. But because of the military and energy resources in the area, they say this remains a priority, figuring out what's going on and who is operating any activity legal or suspicious. We just don't know what we don't know. And, uh, you know, we should be in the business of trying to find that out on behalf of our citizens. So multiple agencies still investigating and trying to figure out what is happening in that part of Colorado. But they want to also use this as an opportunity to remind everyone that if you do see suspicious activity, you should contact law enforcement. Don't try to resolve it yourself. Reporting live tonight, Sean Chitness covering Colorado First.